Well, happy Sunday morning to you, all those of you that are joining us by audio or video. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. And uh, be excited and uh, be ready for whatever God has for you. Amen. He always has something for us. Uh, yeah. New Beginnings Church here, the church family, we, we greet you and uh, we welcome you. So get ready to receive what God has for yeah. you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Y prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Y todo el tiempo tiene algo para usted. Usted tiene que recibir. Amen. He always has something for you. But we must receive when somebody brings you a gift. Yeah. And gives you a Come gift. On, yeah. You have to take it. Yeah. When you take it, it's yours. Amen. Mm -hmm. When you take it, it's yours. Yes. And that's what he's given us. He gave yeah. us Jesus. Amen. For God so loved the world yeah. that he gave us Jesus. Amen. But when he's given us gifts, and he expects us to use those gifts, yeah. he expects us to take those gifts yeah. and use those gifts unto him. Amen. So praise God. Amen. That kind of goes with the lesson. I'll need it back in a few minutes there. Give it to me. <laughs> Can I borrow it from you? I need to borrow it from you. <laughs> so prepare yourselves to receive and uh, grab your swords, grab your Bibles, and uh, let's say it like we're men in the church. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. And we're going from glory to glory. We're, go, we're growing uh, leaps and bounds. Amen. We don't want to stay the same. We want to keep growing. You know, Pastor Pat was talking about growing and uh one of my greatest messages I like is bloom where God has you. Uh -huh. And you know when you bloom, it means you got to grow. Mm -hmm. I saw a beautiful flower yesterday. <laughs> and I told Pastor Pat, and I went and took a picture of it. But you know, when you're blooming for him, you're doing, you're, you're just where he wants you. Yeah. Amen. Don't complain about or compare yourself to what the world's doing or who's doing what. Mm -hmm. Just know that he wants you. He's got you just where he wants you. Yeah. Amen. So, we're not envying what the world is doing or That's whoever right. is doing what. We're not comparing or competing. We are completing one yeah. another. And we are completing to what God has called us to do. Amen? Yeah. So he wants to use you, make yourself available. And that's the main thing. God's not looking for perfect people. Yeah. He's looking for available people. Right. Are you making yourself available? Mm -hmm. Amen? If you compare yourself with the world, you see yourself disqualified. Mm -hmm. But he says, I have already approved you. Yeah. I have already qualified you. I have already called you. I have equipped you with everything needed to fulfill your mission. So why are you still comparing yourself to the world when God has already qualified you and called you and says, now go. Amen. He told his disciples to go. Amen. I might, I'm going. He said, but I'm going to give you a, 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 a Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will come. I must go, but he must come, and he'll be with you, and he's going to guide us and direct us in what, where we need to be. Amen? So, but we need to have this relationship with him. Amen? So, praise God. Let's bloom and go, and go for him. Amen. So, let go of whatever. Take the limits off. <laughs> no more limitations. Right. Amen? Just let go and let God. Amen? Yeah. Bible says we can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens us. Amen? Yes. So, are you ready? Yes. All right, here we go. <laughs> Remember, you used to watch this show called uh, Mission Impossible. Yeah. <laughs> With God, all things are possible. Yeah. So, mission, I am, mission impossible becomes I am possible yes. through Him. Amen? Amen? So, just see yourself that way. And uh, attitude means a whole lot. Mm -hmm. May I borrow it, please? <laughs> Attitude. We have a little <laughs> sign here that says, Attitude is a little thing that makes a big yes. difference. Amen? Amen? Makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. Attitude. So the Bible says, This is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. I will rejoice yeah. and be glad in it. Yeah. Amen? So be glad in it. Yes. Amen? Praise, Praise God. God. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Be surprised what you find in uh, um, garage sales. Stuff people were throwing away, you know. I think we, we got things like that in uh, yard sales, people just throwing away, uh, get them out of the dumpsters, you know, and says, 
how? You know, they don't understand. You know? So anyway, the Lord wants to impress on me to show, share with you, victory is mine. Amen? This is you. Victory is mine through him. Amen? Victory is mine in Jesus. So, victory is mine. Victory is mine daily when I put my faith and trust in the Lord's amazing abilities instead of my own. When I take myself off the throne and put him back on the throne, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So victory belongs to me. Amen. When that's your, that should be our daily uh, yes. attitude. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Victory yeah. belongs to me. Why? Yes. Because Jesus already won it. Amen. He paid the price. Yes, he did. So I don't have to wait for anything else. I just need to get myself full with him. Feed on the word. And water this seed. And this seed is going to grow. And it's going to go for, for Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Victory belongs with me. Victory is mine. Mm -hmm. So victory begins with believing God's word. It doesn't matter what the circumstances look like. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what the odds look like. You know, uh, just in case, and I always use it as an example, but <laughs> things didn't look so good. When David went up to see his brothers and bring them some lunch, a sack lunch. Amen. And he saw the giant. Well, on a daily basis, when you step out of your house mm -hmm. and you step into the world, you see all these giants facing you. I don't care what kind of giant he is. Amen? Personal, could be financial, could be whatever. Health, health giant. All these things coming against you. It could be sickness. But you're facing these giants on a daily basis. It doesn't matter what the circumstance look like. It doesn't matter what the odds look like. Mm -hmm. David saw his giant. And he says, my God is bigger than this. Amen. Whatever is facing you, my God is bigger than anything coming against you. Amen. Yeah. So you, we must see ourselves that way. God's abilities is not affected by our circumstances. Right. When we start seeing it with our eyes, mm -hmm. wow. The servant came and, and told Elijah, oh, there's more against us than with us. And Elijah says, no, no, he says, there's more with us than against us. Because he saw into the spirit realm, and he saw all those that were there. Amen. And he was able yeah. to see. Amen. If he was able to see into the spirit realm, you would see there's more for you than against you. That's right. But victory belongs to you. There's victory already in Jesus. Amen. So we must see ourselves that way. Of course, uh. I already said this, but Psalms 118, 24, this is the day the Lord has made. Amen. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I will have victory. Mm -hmm. Victory is mine, and that's my attitude in him. Amen? So praise God. Amen. We're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory on a daily basis. Yes. Victory belongs to me. You step out. Victory belongs to me. I'm Amen. stepping out in him. I'm stepping out in him. Lord, somebody happened. Because of what Jesus has already done, he paid it all in, in full already. So victory is mine. Have victory in Jesus on a daily basis. That's your choice. Knowing the word is knowing the truth. And the Bible says in uh, John 8, 32, And you shall know the truth, and the truth to what? Set you free. Amen. You hear the word saying things. You hear so-and-so saying things. Yeah. And you just don't take it and grow from that. And you take it and you bounce it off with the word yeah. of God says yeah. and when you do that now you know that's not what the word of god says and then you say well i'm just going to throw this aside but i'm going to stand on what the word of god says mm -hmm. when i stand on the word i'm going to grow and i'm maturing in the things of god because i'm growing <laughs> in the word the word is there and i'm going to stand on what the word of god says because yes. no matter what the enemy brings no matter what the world brings there's not more powerful that's than right. the word of god that's amen it. Not more powerful in my victory in him. Amen. So praise God. Amen. So let it be your attitude on a daily basis. Victory is mine. Amen. And uh, well, I'll get to it in a few minutes. First John 5, 4 and 5 says in the NIV, Whatever one born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. Who is that over overcomes the world? Who is that that overcomes the world? The only one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Yes. Amen. Yes. So praise God. If you're thinking, <laughs> if you're thinking you're fighting a losing battle, fear not. That's right. Because victory is yours. Yes. Victory in Jesus. So we got to stand. Amen. 
You've got to stand on him. You know, got to stand in him and believe that I have victory through him. Mm -hmm. Amen. So no matter what's coming against you, I have victory in him and in his truth, in the word of God. Amen. So praise God. Amen. <clears throat> the Bible tells us to put on the full armor of God. Let me read it to you in Ephesians 6, uh, 10 through 8. Just listen up. Put on the full armor of God. Finally, my brothers, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. On a daily basis, put on God. Mm -hmm. Amen. He never says to take it off, but he says put on God. Put on the whole armor of God. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Mm -hmm. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you yes. may be able to withstand in the evil day. Yes. And having not done all to stand, oh. says, stand. stand. Amen. Right. You may be the only one, mm -hmm. but guess what? You're standing with him and you're yes. standing for him. Yes. Amen. Everybody else may be in the wrong and you may be the only one standing, but I'm standing with him. Yeah. Because I know what the word of God says. Yes. So I don't have yeah. to be with the crowd just That's to make right. it right. Amen. I'm still yeah. on the stand. Therefore, having your girds, uh, gird your Lord, uh, waist with the truth, mm -hmm. put on the breastplate of righteousness, yeah. and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, yeah. which is able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked ones. Mm -hmm. And he is always shooting these arrows at you. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you got to keep your shield, that faith up at all times. Yeah. The Bible says we fight a battle of faith. We, we fight, how do we go? Uh, we fight a, a fight the good fight of faith. That's what I'm getting to. The good fight of faith. <laughs> yes. The good fight of faith on a daily basis. Uh -huh. That's what we fight. Amen. But you got to keep your faith up. How do I keep my faith up? Well, know the word. Yeah. When you know the word, you know that you're walking in faith. And you're going to walk in the word. Amen. You're going to walk in him. Which you're able to quench all the fire darts of the wicked one. Who is the wicked one? Mm -hmm. The devil. Yeah. Amen. Satan. Mm -hmm. Not your not the enemy is not your friend, you know, That's not right. your neighbor. And take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, mm -hmm. which is the word of God. Pray it always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Being uh, watchful to his to 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 this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. All the saints. So put on the whole armor of God. Yes. When you put on the whole armor of God, no matter what the enemy brings, mm -hmm. no matter what the world brings, That's right. you are ready Amen. because I want to make a stand when I have the full armor of God on. Amen. Amen. So praise God. So fear not, church. <laughs> if you feel. The cares, the worries, the anxieties of the world. If you feel defeated, lonely, or you feel the setbacks, the mistakes, hopeless, hopeless false accusations, or you feel like all is coming to an end, mm. just know fear is one of the enemy's greatest weapons they use against yeah. you. And if you ever never heard this before, fear is false evidence appearing real. All right, now. now, when you don't know the word, this thing may be real to you. But when you know the word of God, say, wait a minute, that's not what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stand on the word. Mm -hmm. And instead of fear, you know, when you have the word, it drives out all fear. It says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Amen. Amen? So fear has to go. Yeah. Amen? Those things coming against you have to go because I'm going to stand on what the word of God says. Also, 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says, For God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen? Amen. We need to remind ourselves about this all the yes. time. Amen? Know that Jesus paid the full price, yes, and you can have a sure victory. Mm -hmm. And I can say on a daily basis, Amen. as often as you want to say it to yourself, victory is mine. Yeah. Amen? You know, sometimes you got to remind not only yourself, but if I'm going to say it, I'm going to speak it out so uh -huh. the enemy can hear it because he's so uh -huh. dumb, he forgets. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to say it so yeah. I can hear it as well. Victory is mine. Amen. Victory belongs to me. I have yeah. victory in Jesus. Amen? Yes. Here we go. I've got it right. Uh, fight the good fight of faith daily. Yeah. Amen. Fight the good fight of faith daily. We are to renew our minds because as you go into the world, your mind just gets so... Uh, 
full of the world. And you know, you gotta renew your mind so you can get these things off of you. Mm -hmm. Amen, give yourself a spiritual bath, you know, mm -hmm. and just say, whew, I need to get all this mess off of me. Mm -hmm. We hear it, we see it, mm -hmm. amen. So if we don't get it off, we're just gonna start acting like the world, amen. So we're fighting this fight of faith, mm -hmm. but we need to give ourselves that spiritual bath, get all this mess out of us, you know, and renew our minds through the word of God, feed your spirit the word of God, and crucify the flesh, because yeah. the flesh is willing to just say, hmm, I want to side with the world. Uh, hmm, that sounds real good. Uh, <laughs> Don't want to do any work. He just wants to uh, yeah. go along, you know. He just wants to <laughs> tag along. Uh, so I say, no, uh, uh no, no, no. We must crucify the flesh, yes. because the flesh is willing. And the yeah. Bible tells in Galatians that the flesh and the spirit are constantly fighting each other. Mm -hmm. Amen. Which one you feed the most, it's going to dominate. And guess what? The flesh is going to just have its way. He wants to have his way. We also fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. And this is what we need to renew our minds on a daily basis. Amen. 1 Corinthians 5, uh, 15, 57 through 58. In the easy to read version says, But we thank you, God, for giving us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, my dear brothers and sisters, stand strong. Don't let anything change you. Always give yourself fully to the yes. work of the Lord. You know that your work in the Lord is never wasted. Yeah. Amen. In Hebrews, he tells us that you don't forget what you do for him. He knows the works you do for him, and he'll never forget. And he'll reward you for it. Amen. But if you're going to do it, do it, do it as unto the Lord. Like Galatians says, do it unto the Lord and not... Yeah the men. Amen. Because when you do that, you know that you're serving him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And people will see Jesus through you just by what you're doing, mm -hmm. by your attitude, you know. I'm doing this unto the Lord. And people will know. They know you by your words and your actions. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. John 14 and 6 says, Jesus the only way to the Father. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes people tell you how to get there what to do. Another way to go to heaven. Another way to do this. Another way to do that. This is a new thing. The Bible says the only way to the Father is through Jesus. John 14 6. Yeah. Jesus, the only way to the Father. There's no other way. So my daily attitude should be, victory is mine. And that's where I got my little song. And uh, we used to sing this all the time. I told Patricia, give me a copy of that song. I want to I wanna sing it to you this morning. <laughs> and those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, <laughs> go something like this. It says, victory is mine. Yeah. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Mm -hmm. You can sing this on a daily basis. Yeah. Wherever you are, you know, whether you're working, you're driving or going somewhere. It says, I told Satan. You know, when the enemy came to tempt Jesus, what did Jesus tell him? He says, get thee behind me. Get thee behind me. I told Satan, you must tell Satan. Amen. He says, you take authority. You have authority over him. So I told Satan, get thee behind me because victory today is mine. You know, <clears throat> the Bible tells us in uh, Proverbs 8, 18, 21. That death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. So you go around confessing defeat. Mm -hmm. Guess what? You're going to start feeling that. And you're going to start going through all this defeat. Mm -hmm. Because you're going around confessing a negative thing. You're going around confessing a, a, a death. Yeah. Amen. And you can have what you say. Yeah. And it just goes to verse 2 that says, Love is mine. Love is mine. Love today is mine. Again, I told Satan, get thee behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes we just go around telling, nobody nobody loves me. Nobody cares mm -hmm. about me. <laughs> well, God loves you so much, he sacrificed his son. Yes. <laughs> and if you don't have a relationship, it's time you have a relationship because he sacrificed his son. So it's time to know God loves you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And guess what? He knows the worst about you, and he still loves you the yeah. best. Amen. We need to remember that. He, never, he, said, he says, I am God and I change not. So he's not going to change his plans about you. He gave you gifts. He gave you plans. And he's not going to change his mind about you like the world does. Mm -hmm. If you try to please the world, you'll never please him. Mm -hmm. 
because they'll change on you in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. But God says, I'll never change. Amen. Right. So we're God pleasers, not man pleasers. Amen. Verse 3 goes into to say, joy is mine. <laughs> the Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. We just talked about this a few weeks ago. The joy of the Lord is my strength. You know, so give your frown a break. <laughs> joy is mine today. Yes. Joy is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Joy today is mine. It goes into peace. It goes into happiness and prosperity. Mm -hmm. But you can have all these things. And you can go around singing yourself happy all day long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and making uh, God glad and the devil mad. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want you to know these things because you could be, he, you're a threat to him. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You see yourself as just over little old me, mm -hmm. but guess what? You're part of the body of Christ. Yes, you are. Amen. One body, many parts. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise, praise God. Lord. You are important. You are important to Him. Y'all didn't want me to sing this to you, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it says, it goes like this. It says, when I rose up this morning, I didn't have no doubt. I knew the Lord would bring me out. Yeah. So I fell on my knees and said, Lord, help me, please. Help me, please. Sing and shout the victory. Amen. Sing and shout the victory. Yes. Amen. Amen. So it doesn't matter. You know, there's a lot of voices out there. Uh -huh. And the world's telling you, you know, <laughs> all kind of negative things. People are telling you all kind of negative things. Mm -hmm. You have to know what the Word of God says. Yes, it says, <laughs> if you ain't singing and shouting victory, you got to get right with God. You got to get this relationship right. I think I told Pastor Pat, I heard her say something about, don't come visit me when I'm dead. <laughs> you never visit me while I was alive. Why don't you come visit me now? <laughs> Forget it. I'm not there. <laughs> it says, know who you are. Mm -hmm. Know who you are in him. We're just having a good uh, Bible study series on who you are in Christ. Yes. When you know who you are in Christ, guess what? It's making the devil mad because you're a big threat to him. Yeah. He used to have you. <laughs> he can't have you anymore. Right. It's right. your choice. When you get full of the word, you get full of God, you're a threat. And yes. you're going somewhere to happen. Yes, and he's getting out of your way. Submit yourself to God. Resist uh -huh. the devil. And he'll flee from you. Know who you are in God. Have victory in him on a daily basis. Victory is mine. And I'm going to sing this until I get it. <laughs> and you might have to listen to it all this time. <laughs> but you go and sing it. Please shout, 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 shout the victory. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, you ever see a, a football team, a basketball team, uh, one of these teams, uh, when they won a championship, they just don't say, oh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> they shout. They go through all kind of parades. They go through all kind of jumping up and downs and all these other things. What about a child of God? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> well, I was in defeat. Now I have victory on a daily basis. Thank you, Lord. Okay? When you start comparing to the world or comparing with people, you're going to pull yourself down and go back to what it was. You don't want to do that. you got victory. When they see your victory and shout in victory, and they see your joy and they see your smile, they want what you've got. I want what you've got. What keeps you so high all the time? I say, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. When they open the door, you walk in and say, Jesus is the best high you can ever have. No, 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 no side effects. <laughs> None of that other stuff they say, you know, <laughs> the new stuff I take, all the new stuff I drugs I take, you know. Prescription drugs <laughs> says this could kill you. I said, Oh my god, I don't want to take it, <laughs> just throw it away. <laughs> god cannot lie, and so every time he says he's going to do something, you can count on it. That's God's promise. I know what the word of God says, I know what he's promised. So, guess what? I'm going to stand on the word. I'm going to stand on, on him. I'm going to stand on what it says. Yeah. So you can count on it. You can just, what the world says, yeah. you can take that to the bank. Yeah. He said, we can take it all the way to heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. He promised. He lies not. Remind right. yourself constantly, victory is yours. Yeah. Amen. Amen. 
yeah. into his mind. Hallelujah. So I told Satan, get through the hurry. Mm -hmm. You know, so, and sometimes he's just waiting for us to say something. Mm -hmm. Because he's just tagging along <laughs> with you all this time. Because you ain't said nothing. You ain't took authority. So he's yeah. just hanging out with you. That's right. It's time to let him know, hey, yeah. I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. Get through behind me. Mm -hmm. I'm taking authority right now. Yeah. From now on, you ain't chasing me. I'm going to chase you. That's it. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> we're not about fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory because mm -hmm. of what Jesus has done. So we have victory in Jesus on a daily basis. You know, it's not just once in a while, once a year. This is on a daily basis we yeah. can have victory in him. Amen? Amen. Whew. We all have choices to make on a daily basis. To trust in Jesus. To have victory. To live in him. Or to trust in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And be a victim. Mm -hmm. Or live in defeat. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's a lot of Christians. You know, you can have all the word in you and never speak it out and you can live in defeat mm -hmm. and the enemy is going to come and just run over you yeah and you just gonna let him do that mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. you can live in victory and have your victory or you can trust in the flesh and trust in the world and be a victim mm -hmm. and have no victory mm -hmm. or you can just live in defeat mm -hmm. speak confess faith your words yeah. amen this is where Proverbs 18, uh, 20, 21 comes in. Mm -hmm. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Listen. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. What do you speak with the tongue? <laughs> words. Yeah. So you can be speak positive or negative words. Mm -hmm. And you can have what you say. Because mm -hmm. your words are seeds. Yes. Words are seeds. You're going around just spreading it all over. Oh, boy. What kind of seeds are you sowing? Mm -hmm. Are you sowing positive seeds or negative seeds? Mm -hmm. But guess what? Those seeds are going to grow. Mm -hmm. When seeds fall, they grow. Mm -hmm. Somewhere. You know, they're going to grow in your garden. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to sow it. You ain't going to sow it in my garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you sow them in your garden, mm -hmm. and it's going to grow in your garden. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know why this is happening to me. Mm -hmm. And you think back, and you remember the things you said. A while back, you start thinking, Lord, <laughs> show me, show me, Lord, what's happening? Mm -hmm. And He'll remind you of the things you said mm -hmm. a few days, a few weeks, a few months, or maybe a few years back. Mm -hmm. And now you're reaping what you sowed. Mm -hmm. I said, Lord, I take it all back. Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, I just, I just canceled all that right now. Yes. So you know what? Bible says, "Put up, you put a guard on over your mouth, mm -hmm. <laughs> over your lips, mm -hmm. amen, <laughs> and speak the right words." Mm -hmm. Well, don't say, "Well, you know, uh, I just had to give them a piece of yeah. my mind. Yeah. I just had to tell them how I felt." Yeah. Well, you're speaking negative, but you're speaking it to him. It's just like mm -hmm. you taking poison and hoping they drop dead. Yeah, <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. It's gonna affect you and not yeah. them. Because they're still happy, they're still having a good time, and you're all sad mm -hmm. and sick and whatever else. Mm. But it ain't affecting them, it's affecting you. Right. And you're all sad because they're not going through what you want them to go through. Mm. Amen. And the best thing to do is put it in God's hands yes. and just walk away from it Amen. and say, Lord, bless them. Yeah. Amen. Send somebody to minister to them. Yeah. You know, if you can't reach your own people, if you can't reach your own family or people you know, God has right. somebody that can touch them. Yeah. God has somebody that can reach them. That's right. You know, you can pray for somebody clear across the world. God has somebody everywhere. Everywhere. The body of Christ is all over the world, not yes. just here in Marfa. That's right. I mean, everybody can come to Marfa. That's right. <laughs> 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 they can try. <laughs> they can try. <laughs> But your family, listen. <laughs> the way I was raised, I wouldn't. My family sometimes won't listen to me. My family has told me, "Don't come here and don't preach in my my house." Mm -hmm. But God has somebody that can reach them. Don't yeah. stop me from praying That's and right. asking the Lord to send somebody to minister somebody. to my family. Yeah. That's your family. I want them. I want them to 
to go to heaven. I want them to know the truth and be set, yeah. be broken away, or, or uh, be free yeah. from the world. Yeah. Amen. But my attitude depends a whole lot on that. Now, see, I can just two wrongs don't make a right. That's right. If I just say, well, you know, hey, go to hell. Mm -hmm. It's easy to say they will if they don't get the truth. Yeah. But still, I can just say, Lord, send the right people to minister mm -hmm. to them. If I can't reach them, you got somebody that can yes. touch them. You got yes. somebody that can reach them. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And God, God will honor His word. Yes, He will. Amen. For God so loved the yes. world. Yes. <laughs> Amen. That He sent Jesus, mm -hmm. and Jesus died. So guess what? He's going to honor your word. Yeah. Amen. Your prayer. What, whatever you, He's going to send somebody to set them free. Yeah. Amen. The enemy can't have them. That's right. I may not be the one to reach them, but. God has somebody to reach him. Jesus is busy working on behind the scenes. There you go. Blessing you and showing favor. Mm -hmm. Bible says he sits at the right hand of, of God. A place of honor. Where he what does what? One of the things he does is intercedes for us. Mm -hmm. He's praying for us. Amen. Mark 16, uh, 16 19 says in the New Living Translation. When uh, Lord Jesus had finished talking with him. He was sent up into heaven and sat at the right, sat down in a place of honor yeah. at the right hand of, yeah. Jesus, of God. Amen. Yeah. At the right hand of God. Yeah. That's where he went. You know, he told his disciples what to do. Go into the world, preach, mm -hmm. preach the gospel. Go and set people free. Go and heal people. Mm -hmm. You know. And then he says, he was taken up in a place of honor at God's right hand. Mm -hmm. Romans 834, New King James says, who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died, and furthermore, is also risen. Yeah. Who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Know yes. that he didn't go to heaven and forgot about you. That's right. <laughs> He's thinking about you. He's praying for you. Yeah. Amen. He loves you. Amen. A lot of times when you get to where you are, you think about it and you say, I don't know how I got this far. Well, it's because of Jesus that you got that far. He's not finished with you yet. Yeah. So it's time to say, Lord, I confess every sin. I repent. <laughs> use me any which way you want to. Amen. And he wants to use you. He already put a, a plan in you. Amen. And when you need to have a relationship with him, then he'll show you what you need to do. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. <clears throat> but guess what? The devil's working just as hard trying to stop you from anything and everything. Mm -hmm. And he's sending distractions your way. Yeah. Trying to stop you from doing what you're doing. He knows that you're a big threat to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. In John 10, 10, of course, says, the thief, the devil, Satan, whatever you want to call him, does not come except to steal, kill, destroy. I've come, Jesus has come that you might have life, life. and have it more abundantly. Amen. I have come that you might have victory. Yes. Amen. You can have victory in me. Jesus came so that we could have his best Abundance, abundance yeah. raining down on you on a daily basis. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You, Can you imagine that abundance of Jesus' favor raining down on you at all times? Mm -hmm. He came that we might have it abundantly. Yes. Amen. So in closing. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> that's the only time you said anything. Then. <laughs> <laughs> in Luke four one through ten. Well, in chapter 4, the Bible says Jesus, I mean, the devil came to tempt Jesus. Uh -huh. If the devil tempted Jesus, guess what he's going to do to you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's going to tempt you. Yeah. Amen. So I don't know why I do these things. <laughs> the enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy. He came to tempt Jesus. Yes, he does. Amen. He'll try it on, he did it on Jesus, he'll do it on you. Yeah. Luke 4 and 3 says, And the devil said unto him, If Thou be the Son of God, uh -huh. command these stones to be made bread. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he already knows he's the Son of God, but he says, if you're the Son of God. Yeah, if. if. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't it just like the devil? Yeah. If you're the Son of God, then show me. And Jesus answered and said, It is written that man shall not 
live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So the devil tempts Jesus again, and finally in Luke uh, 4 and 8, Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. Uh -huh. Amen. He tempted him. And Jesus quoted the word. Yeah. So if he tempts you, what do you do? Quote the word. Quote the word. Know the word. So you can quote the word. Amen. Or know where to go. Yes. Or not do what he's telling you to do. Steal, right. kill, destroy. If those things are flying through your head, guess what? Don't do it. If he wants you to say something that you know it's not going to bless somebody, don't say it. That's right. Put a guard. Don't don't say it. Yeah. But finally, Jesus says, <laughs> Jesus didn't have to prove anything to him. So Jesus finally said unto him, Get there behind me, Satan. Uh -huh. You must go. Go. Never knew he was whipped. Amen. But that didn't stop him. That's right. He's still around. Yep. Until Jesus comes back. No father, nobody, no one knows except the Father when he comes back. But when he comes back, he'll put him away. Mm. Amen. But he's busy right now. So we also need to remind ourselves, victory is mine. Just like Jesus had victory, we have victory. Yeah. Sometimes we need to do this often. And we need to do this daily on a daily basis. Amen. John uh, 16, 33 says this. These things I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Yes. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Amen. Says this the day I have given you. Rejoice and be glad in it. Says be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. He yes. says what I've done you can do also. Yes. We can overcome this world mm -hmm. and the things coming against you if you submit yourself to yes. God. Amen. Submit yourself to Him and yes. knowing His Word, studying His Word, yes. spending time with Him, getting yourself filled with the Word. Yes. Amen. So the world can't Amen. have you. Amen. So praise Amen. God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus handed us the victory when He overcame the cross. Yes. Amen. The devil knows it. The devil knows exact knows it we need to know it uh -huh. amen he'll come to tempt you yeah. know who you are and who you are in Christ amen, amen. and know this the victory is mine yes. victory is mine I have victory in Jesus amen. and you have victory you're a victor yes. and not a victim right. amen. amen so amen. praise God I hope you got something from this amen. it blessed me and I hope it blesses you amen so praise amen. God amen, amen.